Hey, I'm Ralph Lockley with SoutheasternGeneralContractors.com. In today's vlog, one of our work truck has broken down, so it's actually behind me now, traveling backwards, going down a hill. Stay tuned, this is going to be fun. Yards. Turn right onto I thought Ralph was going to take that curve at 20. It says 15, Ralph. You were pulling hey, me back with 20. I said, well, where's Little? We'd have been crashed up. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> The day kind of got off to a unique start, vehicle breaking down, we had to tow it back to the job site till the tow truck comes and picks it up. But now we've got that under control, let's walk inside, take a look and see how everything's going inside the Neely residence. So we're here at the Neely project and we're in the drywall stages getting ready to do all the sanding, but I must tell you, walking through this finished work looks really good. Stay tuned as I show you some of the things to look for to know when you're getting a quality drywall job. Follow along. So the first thing I do is I walk and I just look and I feel the drywall and uh, on this job like I said it's really superb but let me show you something that I do. I'll use my iPhone as a quick reference. Use the flashlight feature that you see here and then I'll go into corners and I'll just shine my light. You'll see how smooth those corners really are and you'll know whether or not if you're working with pretty good finishing. Now we're not completed, we're in the very beginning stages and I don't even think the guys have actually started sanding yet so for this to be at this level without sanding these folks are really doing an awesome job. Follow along to the next room and I'll show you something else to look out for as well. So now the next thing you also look for is on your corners. This is a high traffic area. This is from the main entry. So you can also use your light too to go around and look at all your corner beads and then look at all the finishing here. Normally during this stage, you'll see some slight imperfections, things that we call like fish eyes or little bubbles in the drywall mud or drywall compound. I don't see any of that here. Um, and so these guys are doing a really excellent job. Looks like we just need to dust off the walls. Uh, the last thing I'll look for, I'll show you in the next room. The next thing I'm going to show you is in the bay window areas. Anytime you have an angled wall, one of the things we always do is we make sure we use the level line tape, which helps make sure your lines are straight and level. So look right here and stand back from a distance and you can kind of see this line right here. Now if the drywall finishers only use tape, just regular tape, sometimes you'll kind of get some inconsistencies there. So we always want to make sure they're using the level line tape that has metal in it to create this nice straight line finish. So you'll see that they have that here. On this side they have it as well and so you'll look and what you want to look for is this line that you see right here. And that helps ensure that when you stand back from the wall and you look in these angled walls you have a really good and straight line of sight on these angled walls. So these are some of the things you're going to want to look for when you're at the drywall finishing stages because trust me the drywall finishing is paramount in the finished product of your build. During the sanding stage get a light, go into corners, into the walls, make sure everything is sanded down really well and make sure you're using the level line tape in the corners or any kind of odd corners and just make sure everything is dusted off then lastly, make sure you're using a very good wall primer. We use USG Tough Hide Wall Primer to give a good consistent coat over the actual uh, drywall compound finish and the surface texture of the board to make it all an even surface so the paint adheres to it evenly. Use those tips and you should end up with an awesome drywall finish and painting job each and every time. I'm Ralph Locklear with SoutheasternGeneralContractors.com. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. So as you've seen, we had some troubles out in the field. You gotta have a plan B. Check out the plan B. Plan B, baby. Plan B, baby. <laughs> it don't matter how you get there as long as you arrive. That's what it's about. <laughs> get the job done, ain't that right? Southeastern General Contractors, where making clients happy is our number one goal. Learn more at southeasterngeneralcontractors.com.